Look, look at my eyes. I'm being honest with you guys here. So you guys won't be seeing Youngster too much. Youngster has decided to go uh, work on the tugboats, make him a little bit more. Shut up! So he can build his mini truck. Uh, you'll probably see some more guests coming in and helping me out. We have an OBS coming up that we're doing a V6 to V8 motor swap and a lowering kit on. We have two Dodges, two separate Dodges that will be coming in. One is a full rebag of a hack job. The other one is a front infamous kit that we'll be putting on to make it lay all the way down. We will have more work on the uh, slow noma behind me please if you're watching these videos subscribe like the videos comment share tell your buddies to subscribe it's time to put some low rider graphics on the good old shop truck i've got an idea of what i wanted to do i um i drew it out on a piece of paper i've learned that these trucks they kind of dictate the artwork their self you, you might have an idea in your head but once you start laying down these tape lines and everything they tend to steer you in the direction you want for those that might attempt this Here's a quick how-to. Well, not a quick how-to, but here's a how-to. The roof was so rough that when you washed it, the uh, microfiber towel would stick to it. So it needed to be sanded down anyway. What I did was sand all the roughness out. So if you need to know if you've got dents, which I knew I had, get yourself one of these Dura blocks, these long blocks, put it on flat and get to sanding. I promise you this thing will let you know where all your highs and low spots are. Once I found all my high and low spots, I uh, put on my favorite putty. I didn't just fill the dents up with uh, Bondo. I did get them out as much as I could, body worked them as much as I could. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're gonna put a metal flake paint job on here. Um, it's gonna have the endless lines, a bunch of different work into it, like the roof of the OBS. I forgot. This is what the OBS looks like. That's a little late. We got the uh, Lime Line flake done. This is the uh, product that I use. It's a Lime Line. One pack makes a pint. You mix it with a pint of clear. The instructions are on the back. It's a great product. Um, you mix it in the clear. You can spray it out of a 1.3 to 1.4 tip. Um, I think my gun is a 1.4 tip. Mix it in the clear. You put about three coats uh, over black. Then when you're done with that, you let it cure. You shoot... Uh, three to four coats of just clear on top of it to build up. Then you wet sand it, clean it, start your artwork. And uh, here's the roof of the truck. It's got a few light spots in it. Um, I'm gonna give this a little easy sand, a little easy wet sand. Um, there's a couple uh, actual little drips in there. Don't get in a hurry when you do this type of stuff. Any paintwork shouldn't be hurried. I was in a little bit of a hurry. My light wasn't great at the time. I do got a couple little tiger stripes in it. I'm going to give it a little easy wet sand on this roof. And then I've got some more uh, flake. I'm going to flake it again. I'm going to let this cure overnight. Tomorrow I'm going to shoot the clear coat on it. Let it cure. Wet sand it. I'll show you all the next process as we get into it. Uh, it's going to be kind of a long process. But uh, I'm going to show you all what it takes to, to do this kind of stuff. So... We got our black base laid down. We got our metal flake laid down. Then we got our three coats of clear. I wet sanded it with 300 and then wet sanded it with 800. So I'm gonna clean this off with some window uh, cleaner. It's, uh, one of the best things to just clean this thing off and get everything off of it. And I'm gonna start playing with some, some lines and I'm gonna show you guys what I, what I come up with before I start shooting some, uh, some airbrushing. So here we go. So we got the first uh, piece of artwork, tape work, whatever you want to call it, laid down. What we did was we found the center of the truck and this is what we got so far. So what we're going to do is these lines are going to be shadowed in black. Then we're going to do some, it's um, called lotus petals. We do lotus petals in the center. We're gonna do those in uh, brown. So most of the artwork on this truck is gonna be um, black. Um, you're gonna have some silver outlines and then it's gonna be brown and gold. I want it to kind of have a, um, I guess, rustic look to it, an old look to it. So um, we're gonna lay down some color and uh, we'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> What's up? So we got a trusty airbrush. What we're gonna do, we'll put some black in by a speed coat and we're just going to outline uh, these windows right quick in black and, you know, fade them out. And then we'll come in and do some art work. 
I'm gonna start from this end down here since I've got to come this way since I'm painting from the back of the truck. So I'm gonna come in, do this one, and just pull back that way. I'm not smudging up my artwork as I go. This is just some uh, speed coat, just black, mixed one to one. This is the new Iwata. Not that new to me. I mean, it's brand new, but it's not like a new line or anything. But it is the Iwata Revolution. So I'm really just kind of painting on the actual tape line itself. Uh, gonna get the center silver in black and then I'll fade it inside and out. With airbrushing, you don't want to try to do it all at once. You're going to kind of, you know, build build your color. You don't want to try to get it all at once. Man, it's hot. All right, so now we've got some brown candy concentrate that we're gonna mix up. We're gonna use what's called the lotus leaf pattern. It's kind of like the uh, fish scales that y'all seen on the other videos that we've done, but just a little bit different pattern to match kind of the artwork we got going on there. So I'm gonna shoot this with some brown. I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. Y'all enjoy.